Hey fellow digital scrappers, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy and I'm here with another video tutorial for you. Uh, a few days ago I received an email from one of the scrappingguy.com visitors and she was asking if I could create a video explaining a little bit about layers uh, and what layers are all about and how to create them and how to work with them so I said sure I will uh, go ahead and work on uh, a video for you. So this one is going to be doing some basic explanations about layers and how to work with them. It's not going to go into huge amounts of detail, but it will at least give you a basic understanding of what layers can do and what they're all about. And it's uh, one of the things that Photoshop Elements and Photoshop do very well, and it's one of the key features of their uh, in image editing program. So let me go ahead and get started. Right now I do have open a background paper, just a regular blue background paper. And if we look over here in the layers area, we can see that it is background. And you also see it has a little lock. And basically what that's saying is this layer is the background. And it's not going to allow you to really do anything to it because it's locked. It's a locked layer. And you can't make any changes. And maybe there's a situation where you do want to want to make some changes and you want to get rid of that little lock. What you can simply do is double click the layer and it's going to come up with a layer um, name and you can actually name it if you like uh, something different right now it is called background but if I go ahead and just leave it the way it is and just hit OK you'll notice that the layer is, I'm sorry, that the lock has now disappeared and now we can go in and we can adjust this um, this particular layer to change uh, the size and the color and, and, and everything else just like it would be a normal layer that you would see everywhere else but right now you do see it says layer zero since I didn't change that name if I want to go ahead and change that to a background again I can just go ahead and click it double click it let's just go ahead and call it background hit OK and now that layer once again is called background but I am able to make changes to it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer on top of this and there's a couple of ways you could do that. If you want to work on a blank layer that you want to go and you just want to add some uh, graphics and do a little bit of drawing and dabbling and things like that, you can go up and you can hit the create a new layer icon. And what that'll do is that'll create a new layer uh, right above the one that you were currently, uh, that you had currently selected. So if I want to go and let me go ahead and change the name of that as uh, I'll just call blank layer. just to kind of give it a different name. Now you see right now I have blank layer and I have background. Now if I want to create a blank layer in between the two, I can just click on background again, go ahead and hit the little icon and now you can see that it put it between the background and the blank layer. And you might not think it's that important now because um, we only have these three layers going on. But if you get into something uh, a much more complicated layout and you maybe have 15, 20, maybe 30 different layers, uh, then it might be important where you want to create a new one rather than having to create it and move it around you might as well put it in the correct spot to begin with so I'm going to go ahead and hit control Z and undo that and just to give you an idea I'm going to stay on the blank layer hit new layer now you can see it is above the blank layer one now I can hit control Z like I did before to get rid of that but let's say you have an extra layer in there you just want to go ahead and get rid of and, uh, and you're well beyond the undo for deleting that. All you need to do is you can either grab it and drag it over to the trash can and it'll simply put it and delete it right there or let me create another one or you can just select the layer and go ahead and just click on the trash can it'll ask you if you definitely want to delete it I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So that's working with a blank layer and what you can do with these blank layers like I said is you can go ahead and, and draw shapes and various things let me uh, do that real quick. Let me just pick a quick color. We'll say red. Get my shape tool. I'll go ahead and hit a rectangular tool. Rectangular tool. And with that blank layer, I can go ahead and I can draw, say, some kind of a shape there. And you'll see that it is a uh, the blank layer is now has the little icon or the little shape that I drew on there. Now let's say I want to draw another shape and I want it to be on another layer. What I can simply do is not even create a new layer to begin with. I can go ahead draw another shape and boom we have another layer and it's called shape one. Now these different shapes are going to be hard to manipulate and change because they are actually set up as shapes. Now this is getting a little more detail than I wanted to but what I can do is go ahead 
uh, select, make sure that layer is selected or whichever layer that's selected as a shape. Hit simplify, and now you'll see that it changed the uh, little thumbnail as a blank layer with a transparent background on that particular layer. So you can see, I'll go ahead and I can move that around. There we go. And it'll adjust wherever we're moving. It'll actually adjust the thumbnail in a corresponding area there. And I can do the same thing with this one. I can, I can move it around, but it's still a shape. If I want to simplify it, what I can do is not only hit that simplify button, but I can also right click and hit simplify layer and it does the same thing. Now the layer is similar to the other one with the transparent background and the graphic in there. So let me go ahead and I'm going to delete those shape layers. And now what I want to do is I'm going to grab another or grab a photo. Actually this is a little embellishment. And I want to put that as part of this design over here. And I don't even need to create a new layer in this uh, graphic because what I can do is just take this graphic, make sure that the uh, selection of the move tool, I'm sorry, the move tool is uh, highlighted and just go ahead with my left mouse click it and just go ahead and drag it over there we go to the paper background now you can see it's very small there because the graphic is not a little bit less resolution than the paper the paper is pretty high resolution but what I could do is just grab the one of the corners and there we go there's that layer or, I'm sorry there's that graphic and you can look over in the layers palette here and see that it is on its own layer. I didn't have to create a new one and drag it in. Just a simple step of dragging it will automatically create the layer for me. And what I could do is I could double click it if I want to name it something. Let me call that blue button. Hit OK. Now if we look over here we see that the layer's name is blue button. And let me go ahead and open up another little embellishment. Same thing. I'm just going to select it, grab it, and bring it over. It's a little bit small, but let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger just so you can easily see it. And now I have it on its own layer also. You can see that that's uh, the third layer on top. And what I can do is I can either, this is another little tip, I can either double click the entire layer to bring up the layer properties to change the name, or I can actually double click inside the name itself and I can change it in there instead of using the pop-up. And we'll just call this Red Ribbon. That's one thing about Photoshop is there's usually three or four different ways to achieve the same results. There's even a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you can do um, that, uh, that allows you to not have to mess around with um, menus and highlights and things, but that we'll save that kind of stuff for another video. So here we go. We now have the background, we have the blue button, and we have a red ribbon. Now right now these layers are on top of each other. We have the red ribbon on top of the blue button, and if you, you can see that by dragging the red layer, and it literally is on top of that blue button. But let's say we wanted the blue button on top of the red ribbon. That's simple. All I have to do is grab the red ribbon button, hold down the left mouse key, and put it underneath the blue button. And now they switch places, so now the red ribbon is on the layer behind the blue button. It's very similar to regular scrapbooking, where you would have different elements on top of each other, each element being its own layer. But now we're just doing it graphically in Photoshop. So let me do one more thing. Actually, I'm going to minimize these. Let me open up one more graphic. Now let's just say that I wanted to have this caution sign in this uh, design over here, but I don't necessarily want all of the trees and things in the background. Well, what I can do, because it's on its own layer, I can go ahead and drag it over. And there we have it there. And you can see that the, uh, um, in the layers area that is transparent, I see these little checkered marks, it's transparent uh, behind it. And what I can do is go ahead over to my eraser tool, and I can just go and erase around, do it real quick here, this sign. And the cool thing, because it is on its own layer, I'm not touching or doing anything with these other ones. You can see the ribbon is still behind there. Uh, it's perfectly fine the way it is. And this is, I'm not doing the greatest job cutting this out. And, and of course, there's different ways to do this also. But I just wanted to show a quick example of manipulating an item on its own layer and how it does not affect any of the layers above or below it. So there we go there. I'll go ahead and move it around. And you can see that this layer is on its own. And I got rid of the background. And it's actually between the button and the ribbon. So there we have the button as the top layer 
the sign as the middle layer and the ribbon as the bottom layer. Now one of the things you can do if for a quick selection or if you wanted to make a change to a quick one you could either click on the particular layer you want to work with and move that around or you can also see as you move your mouse around the different parts it'll actually put a blue square around the layer that uh, or around the element if you click on that square or click on that element it will automatically select that particular layer so you can go ahead and uh, move it. Now one of the things you need to do is uh, in order to get that to work is if you look up at the very top you'll see auto select layer that was check marked so if it's not check marked then that won't happen you do have to go over and click the layer itself if you do have it check marked then it'll actually create the little blue um, square around there showing you which one your mouse is over and you can go ahead and click on those and adjust them. So that's a, a real quick tutorial or quick uh, explanation I guess uh, of what layers are and uh, how you can use them and what, they're, what, they're, what they can be used for. And in future videos I'll go ahead and show you how you do, can do different effects uh, to the layers to really make your designs custom.